An Access Control List, ACL, is a set of rules that manage network traffic and determine which devices can access and interact with your network. The ACL wizard simplifies the process of setting up these rules, making it easier for you to secure your network. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to use the ACL configuration wizard on Cisco Catalyst 1200 and 1300 switches. Next. To use the ACL wizard, navigate to the configuration wizards menu. Under the ACL configuration wizard, click on the launch wizard button. On the welcome screen, click next. Select the ACL from the drop-down menu. For this example, I'll choose new ACL, enter the name and type ACL1. For ACL type, you can either select IPv4 or MAC. MAC-based ACLs are used to filter traffic based on the layer two fields. IPv4-based ACLs are used to check IPv4 packets. I'll select the IPv4 option. Once you've made your selections, click Next. On this ACE configuration page, for the Action on Match field, I'll choose Deny Traffic first to block a specific source to a specific destination. For the protocol, any IP is selected, and for the source IP address, I'll choose User Defined and specify the IP address in the Source IP Value field. For the Source IP Wildcard Mask, I'll keep it as all zeros to match the specific IP. Similarly, for the destination IP address, I'll enter the IP and keep the destination IP wildcard mask as all zeros. Once done, click Next, and you'll see a pop-up window to confirm that the rule will be created. Click OK to continue. As you can see, the entry has been added. To add another rule to permit all other traffic, select the Permit Traffic option under Action on Match. In my case, the protocol is any IP, and both the source IP and destination IP addresses are any. Click Next to proceed, and then click OK to confirm. The entry has been added, and the rules have been created under the Rules table. Click Next to navigate to the ACL binding section. There are three options for the binding type. You can bind to a physical interface or switch port, bind to VLANs only, or have no binding. I'll bind this on a switch port. To do that, select a port. I'll choose 13. When binding this ACL on a switch port, the ACL will bind as an input ACL. The default action for the ACL is deny any. This is applied to that port when binding the ACL via the ACL configuration wizard. Click apply. As you can see, the changes were applied successfully. Click Finish, and the ACL configuration is done. To view the new rules on the switch, navigate to Access Control and select IPv4-based ACL. Select IPv4-based ACE from the menu to view the entries that have been added. For me, the entries are to deny traffic from a specific source to a destination and to permit any to allow other traffic. As the ACL has been bound to a port, navigate to the ACL binding port menu. Under port 13, you can see that the ACL has been applied as an input ACL. The default setting is to deny any access to that port. That's the reason the second ACE entry was created under the ACL to allow the other traffic. Create any other ACLs you need when you're done and everything is verified, you need to save these settings to the startup configuration. Click the red blinking save icon at the top of the screen. It's as simple as that. ACLs are a vital tool in network management, and now you know how they can work for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.